Hey you guys, Colleen Riddle here, going live. Today I wanted to share with you four tips to help you lose weight. I always have people ask me, you know, what are some simple things that I can do to help, you know, drop the weight? And I'll start it by saying, I am not a believer in diets. I think diet is a four letter word. Um, so I'm just gonna teach you four simple things today. Two of them are gonna deal with exercise and two of them are gonna deal with nutrition. All right, so um, I know it's the end of the day and I've been wanting to do this all day and my day got away from me. So I just wanna take a couple minutes and film this. So, all right, so my two tips for exercise, if you want to drop some weight, is number one, do full body workouts. What do I mean by full body workouts? Well, instead of just going to the gym and doing, you know, chest and back for a workout, you know, do full body. When you're working your full body, you're going to get everything, your heart's gonna be pumping, you're gonna be burning more calories, and I recommend doing a circuit. So, let's say, for example, you go from one exercise to another. So let's say you do, you know, lat pull downs, then you do squats, then you do push ups, and you do all those, and then you throw in some jumping jacks. So you do weights with different body parts, and then you throw in the cardio burst. So weights, 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 and then jumping jacks for 30 seconds, whatever you want to jack that heart rate. So when you're trying to lose weight, you want to keep your heart rate up as high as possible. So you do all of that and then you take a break and that's a circuit, you know? So the other part of that is you can do combo movements. So I'm gonna show you one just so you can see what I'm talking about. And a lot of times if you're short on time, you can get a lot done with combo moves, all right? So I see some people join, hey Jody and John and Terry and Denise, um, but I'm gonna show you what a combo move is. So let me grab weights real quick. Hang tight. Alright, so a combo move is when you add two exercises in one. So let's say you want to do like a squat press. So I'm not sure how much you can see me in this video, but you're going to squat down, press it up. Okay, now you're adding two exercises into one. So you're getting more bang for your buck when you do combo ones. Okay, another one is like a reverse lunge and a curl. So again, you're gonna lunge, come up, curl. Lunge, come up, curl. That's a way you can fit in some great movements in a short amount of time. And just doing that, my heart rate spiked. So when you add, your whole body's moving, your muscles are pumping, your oxygen is pumping, so you're burning more calories, all right? So, Tip number one, as far as exercise, is do full body workouts when you're going to the gym, all right? So that is one. So then, you know, the other tip is to do intervals when you're doing your cardio. So let's say, you know, I, I'm a huge believer, just like I said, to throw in the cardio in your strength, but then let's say you're doing just a day of cardio. Do intervals. Instead of steady state cardio, so instead of just going out for a run, obviously that's better than nothing, but take it up and down. So what do I mean by that? Do 30 seconds hard and then 60 seconds nice and easy and recover and catch your breath. Let's see what I do with my, oh, I guess I didn't bring in, I have a little timer, it's called a gym boss. And you can set your two intervals to whatever you want. Um, if you're a beginner and have never done intervals, then I recommend doing 30 seconds hard and then 90 seconds recover. So that's a great way to do it. You're gonna push yourself harder during that hard part and then let yourself recover. So the cool thing about that, instead of just doing steady state cardio, is you're going to burn more calories and more fat when you're done with your workout. How's that for cool? So you're sitting on the couch next to someone who doesn't work out or maybe they just went for a walk that day and you did intervals, you're gonna be burning more calories and fat just sitting there. So that is why I'm such a huge believer in interval work. Um, and some of you have heard me talk about Tabata. Tabata is one of my favorite, favorite, high intensity, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. The cool thing with Tabata is you can do body weight exercises with that. So you can do it on the treadmill, you can do it on the bike, but you can pick four exercises. So let's say, you know, body weight squats for 20 seconds, okay? 
then rest for 10, and then you can do jumping jacks for 20 seconds. Rest for 10, then you can do lunges. But it's so cool to vary it up like that. Super intense, but in four minutes, you can be done. So, the two tips for dropping some weight with exercise is to do full body workouts, adding in those bursts of cardio, so we're keeping the heart rate up, then doing intervals when you do your cardio. Okay, so those are the two tips to lose weight when you're talking about exercise, fitness, working out. But what do I always tell my clients? You can't out train a bad diet, right? So we've got to talk about nutrition. It's a whole nother video that I can do, but I'm just going to give you two short tips today dealing with nutrition. One is eat more. What? Some people try to starve themselves when they want to lose weight. That is not the way to do it. You want to eat more throughout the day. You want to feed your body. It's a machine. Think about your car in the morning if there was no gas in it and you wanted to get to work. It's not going to get you there, is it? So we need to eat more and we need to eat good more. Now, some of you just heard the more, right? You're like, ooh, Colleen told me to eat more. Where are those cookies, right? No. Um, so just eat more, but eat more of the good stuff. <laughs> Yes, Brandy, that's funny. Um, so just make sure you're putting good food into your body and plan those snacks. You know, I'm a big believer in three meals a day and two snacks. Tom Lennonborg, my nutrition man. Yes, eating some more sounds crazy, but it definitely works. So we want to fuel the body. So I am a three meal a day gal and two snacks. You know, everybody's different depending on what your goals are. But, you know, we want to keep that food going and, and keep that energy going. Um, you know, breakfast is such a huge part. Uh, and, you know, there's so many different thoughts on that, but you're literally breaking the fast. And think about if you didn't eat until 6 o'clock that night and, you know, you're trying to get your day going and you're leaving the house at 8 and not eating, you're on empty. So really important to get good food into your body. The second tip there is what kind of good food do you want to put in? You want to make sure you're getting plenty of protein and plenty of fiber. So fiber is one of those things that a lot of people miss out of their diets. You really want to probably get 25 to 30 grams of fiber in your diet. You're going to get that from you know healthy fruits and vegetables, um, things like that. Protein, you want to have good lean protein. Chicken, John is downstairs right now doing some shrimp. I think we're having some uh, grilled shrimp over some uh, awesome salad tonight for dinner. We've got Allison coming over. We're doing some Life Matters fun training here tonight. So he's cooking us a nice big salad. But make sure you're getting protein with every time you eat. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Exactly, Denise. That's why I love my shake, the Vibe Shake. 20 grams of pea protein. It's so easy and quick, and it's a great thing to keep you fueled and on the go. So make sure you're getting your protein, make sure you're getting your fiber, and just make sure it's lean protein. You know, if you wanna have yogurt, for those of you who are, you know, keep dairy in your diet, make sure it's Greek and uh, lean. Make sure you're not getting that sugar added yogurt. Be careful of that. That is a tripper upper. Uh, people think yogurt's a good go-to, but they get the kind that has the fruit in it. Well, guess what? There's some yogurts out there, I just looked the other day, that have 28 grams of sugar in it. That's craziness. So I'm gonna do another video on that.